A two-day parliamentary interpolation session began this afternoon with the most attention focused on the remarks made by acting president, Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-wan. Lawmakers' questions mostly revolved around economy-related issues, and they urged the officials present to do what they can to take care of the people's livelihoods. Jim Young-gil starts us off. Lawmakers fired questions at acting president and prime minister Hwang Kyo-wan at Tuesday's parliamentary interpolation session. They wanted to know if the government has any plans to reform the conglomerates that are accused of colluding with the government in the Choi Soon-sil abuse of power scandal. 지금 우리가 다양하게 추진하고 있었던 대기업 집단의 개선 사항들 그리고 이번에 또 수사를 통해서 나오는 여러 문제들 이런 것들을 전체적으로 한번 판단을 할 필요가 있다고 생각합니다. The current investigation, which is being conducted by an independent counsel, is focused on determining the roles of President Park Geun-hye and her longtime confidant Choi Soon-sil, who is accused of forcing conglomerates to donate large sums of money to two government-linked foundations, Mide and K Sports. Lawmakers also asked about the Korean economy, which is expected to lose steam due to sluggish exports and a marked drop in domestic demand. Finance Minister Yoo Il Ho said the government will likely downgrade its growth forecast for next year. We are projecting economic growth of 3 percent for next year, but our expectations may fall short due to risk factors in the second half. We will come up with contingency plans by the first quarter and plans to address the low unemployment rate. You said economic uncertainty has been rising due to the rate hike in the U.S., and he asked Parliament to support bills to help the economy. Lawmakers also asked about the potential economic and security risks that could arise with the incoming Trump administration. 한미 간의 모든 관계들은 정상적으로 잘 진행될 것으로 그렇게 알고 있고 자기들도 그렇게 협력을 하겠다라고 얘기를 했습니다. 이것을 비롯한 다양한 채널을 통해서 계속. Trade Minister Chu Hyung-wan said he anticipates that the Trump administration will also create new business opportunities for both countries. Tuesday's session made news for a number of reasons, but the biggest was that acting president and prime minister Huang said that he has no intention of running in next year's presidential election, putting to rest a rising question in Korea's political landscape. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.